happy Monday. <laughs> See if you know what this song is. It's a little uh, showdown, maybe. A Chapman stick, a harp guitar. Am I missing something? Yeah. Keep it going. Still going? Yeah. Oh, sorry. From the beginning, from the top. Steve Adelson there on harp. Chapman stick. Uh, a little King Crimson, right? Did anyone get the uh, what the what the title of is that of that is? Oh, Steve, you've got to turn your volume down a little bit. That's uh, you're overloading there on the on the Chapman stick on the bass part. So uh, take that down a bit. So thank you, thank you, Warren, for that. So yeah, it's uh, shaking all my uh, computer speakers here. <laughs> Don't so want that to happen. yeah. Well, greetings. Uh, we've got some greetings uh, coming in already from Scotty and John Wise at uh, Bunny Barnes. Uh, Dave there from Tallahassee. Okay, Warren, this thanks like, for the heads up. This is like Romper Room. Remember Romper Room? Yeah. <laughs> I see <laughs> Wendy and I see Phil. <laughs> it is a lot like Romper Room, you know. <laughs> and uh, we haven't progressed very far from that, I don't think. Uh, no. Yes, and Marlene, Marlene says, hey. Uh, okay, and she said also hey to Brian, who was stoking the fire here. We have a nice fire going in the fireplace. Look at that. I feel it. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. You know, if I, if I put it just right, it'll look like my hands are on fire. What do you think? There you go. Yeah. It's hot yeah, stuff. Really fiery stuff. <laughs> okay. And uh, Gail says hi to us and to Tom. Tom Hankinson is popping in there. And uh, oh yeah, this is uh, Tom's first time actually seeing uh, Chapman Stick. Probably so, a lot of people, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and there's even a few people who haven't seen one of these things. But, what is that? But <laughs> <laughs> but by now most people know the harp guitar. I mean, harp guitar is kind of old hat uh, compared to the Chapman Stick. This is actually an old, very old hat, but oh, that's yes. another story. So, quick story, I just played at the yeah. Musical Instrument Museum in, uh, mm -hmm. in Scottsdale, and it was myself and Bill Dutcher on harp guitar, you just swapped that out, and Bill Eaton, who was playing guitars with like 30 strings on him. I don't, wouldn't even call him a harp guitar. Oh, but we, yeah. But we had, uh, as I told you before, more strings than a Diodario factory, for sure, on stage. <laughs> that's a lot of strings. Yes. Yeah, I made you bigger so we could see your instrument a little bit. So uh, it it is a stick where it's it's uh, there's kind of no body to it, right? That, right, there's we no see, body. See I'll stand up a little bit so you can yes. see it. Right, yeah. All right, so it's all fingerboard frets. Yeah. So the bass is played over here. So now you can hear it, and the guitar is played over here. Mul uh, multi, yeah. two things at one time in stereo. So if I wanted to get a little distortion on this side. Not that one. Like which we had on the last two. 
different. Right. That was unintended, though. <laughs> right. But here's distortion on the melody side. And not on the bass. So it's, you can get a lot of sounds out of it, for sure. Wow. And, <clears throat> uh, and we have an outstanding hello from Dennis, from uh, Twisp Washington. Thank you. Wow. And uh, oh yeah, and John Wise was the first one there to uh, comment about the tune, the Crimson King. In the court of the Crimson King, yes. And so, in the court of the Crimson King. Okay, so John wins the award for <laughs> guessing <laughs> the tune. What is right. the award? Yes, uh, I don't know. We got to come up with a good award. A free well, Chapman stick. Yeah, a free Chapman stick. Well, what we could do next week, we are going to be doing the third day of Christmas party. And last year I did this on Christmas, but this year I'm going to spend Christmas with my extended family and uh, the third day of Christmas, which will happen to be Monday Live. Uh, we'll be doing uh, some gift opening and I'll, I'll turn the camera around here. Let me just swap so you can see here. Uh, over here in the corner we have a whole bunch of guitars. Uh, so we are up to about 12, 15 guitars now, uh, and we're going to be giving those away to, uh, we've got four, four programs now of kids who can really use them, and um, one is some of the kids who lost their guitars, the schools lost the guitars in uh, the tornadoes in mm -hmm. Kentucky, so we're going to, some of those are going to go to replace those instruments, and some Excellent. to the Nashville School of the Arts, some to W.O. Smith School, uh, they've been doing great, great work. Um, Fantastic. In, the, in Nashville, just to <clears throat> get kids excited about music, and you know, mm -hmm. it's, it turns around our world. I mean, yeah. good kids, good kids playing, and and uh, then we've got a next generation. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> you know, yes. of crazy people who play these instruments. <laughs> now I'll yeah. vouch for that. My my son is actually a high school guitar teacher, a high school music teacher, mm -hmm. in uh, Brooklyn, New York, and. There, there were some rainstorms, there was Hurricane Sandy, uh, a couple other things, and uh, instruments were lost. And he can vouch for that, that the instruments have changed their lives. Yeah, yeah. And Tony McReynolds is saying, hey, and he is one who is, has repaired some of the instruments uh, that uh, in the last batch went out to the kids. And so mm -hmm. we just, uh, just had tea <clears throat> with him yesterday. Uh, with him and Ava, yeah, they're just delightful people. So thank you for tuning in, Tony. Thanks for what you do, uh, you know, for the cause, for sure. Uh, and oh yeah, also, uh, Steve, you're going to be tuning in for the uh, third day of Christmas party, right? I hope so. I'm not good, teaching yet. Yeah, next <laughs> <laughs> next Monday. Um, and save a present, so as many people as want to, we're going to put them all on camera and have a whole bunch of people and we'll all open our presents at once. So, uh -huh. um, so after, if there's one, one present that you don't, don't mind saving from Christmas, we'll have a, a, a Christmas opening. So uh, save one gift or just wrap one up again. <laughs> Excellent. Great concept. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that'll be part of our... Uh, party next week and a bunch of music and we'll play play a little bit of Christmas music maybe later on today as well so uh, but uh, can Steve can you show us a, a little bit more about what that instrument can do I'll make you big again so so you can do that yeah okay right. so basically the left hand plays the bass here first of all you have to realize uh, to describe the instrument my bass strings in the middle most instruments almost all instruments go from left to right piano goes left to right <clears throat> guitar goes top to bottom, my bass string's in the middle, and it goes out in both directions. So my high string here, same as the string here, lower in the middle. So you play bass notes here, guitar here. The main thing about it is it's kind of new to the world. It has very little history, so it's been kind of fun to explore it and, you know, be, be a pioneer in it, which you are as well with the harp guitar. You know. Well, uh, 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, we any you know if you pick up a weird instrument, you're going to be a pioneer. You know. I didn't mean to be a pioneer. I mean that uh, certainly. It, well, I guess I'd have to dress the part. You know, get, get the get the covered wagons and the, you know. Well, you could be like a pioness because pioneer, you know, right, uh, yeah. the right gender, right? Pioness. Yeah. Uh, but be, I don't know. Have, maybe there's a couple of hundred harp players in the world. So uh, you're yeah. all feeding off each other and learning how to play it and uh, saying, oh, yeah. check this out. You know, it's um, with this instrument, again, there was no history. There was Emmett Chapman. Uh, yep. Real quick history. He found the technique and the instrument in 1969 and marketed the first one in 1974. Right. And Roger Toy uh, from the UK is chiming in and he says he saw a stick with Bruce Cockburn. Yes, Coburn. Coburn, That's sorry. His, Bruce Coburn, yes. Bruce Coburn. It's, it's spelled Cockburn, but it's Coburn. That yeah. was uh, Fergus Marsh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, most of the guys played as a bass. Fergus did that, uh, Tony Levin, of course, uh, mm -hmm. Alfonso Johnson. They'll play more of the bass side. And a couple of chords here. But the uh, the dynamic range and the, and the harmonic range is incredible. Because you could play, like you, you know, 12, 12 note chords, right? Yeah. Chords here, and chords here. Of stuff. So the you know the nothing's written for this instrument, just like nothing's written for the harp guitar. Yeah. So if you want to play a Beatles song, you want to play a Christmas song, you have to adapt it and and make it sound legitimate. Um, so it's been quite an adventure, and it's it's been cool. Um, I wrote a book for Mel Bay, and I've done a video for True Fire. The Mel Bay thing was funny because. I was doing a, a ten-string guitar concert. I don't know mm. why they asked me, but I was mm -hmm. doing it. <clears throat> Maybe there was five people in the audience to one of those kind of gigs. Yeah, a major concert hall. The, the, yeah. the players, the players outnumbered the audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the show, somebody came up to me and said, "Did you ever think of writing a book?" And I go, "Why? There's so many few players." And he said, "I work for Mel Bay. You're going to write a book." And uh, quite fruitful. I think we've sold about fifteen hundred books. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. So is it easy to get a hold of a stick? Roger was asking. No. No. <laughs> easy, you, you, <laughs> that's easy enough. Uh, you can maybe find one used. One of my friends has actually just found one used. Yeah. Uh, you have, if you want to buy a new one, right now they're backed up. It's, it takes about a year. And did Emmett Chapman build them? Emmett Chapman built them up until he actually just passed away about six weeks ago. Wow. He built him in his house, his, his, in his garage. He has about four or five people working for him. And he built every single one of them. Uh, you know, it seems like the uh, the Chapman stick is kind of the opposite of a harp guitar in that you f you fret everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And with a, with a harp guitar, you know, uh, I have all these non-fretted strings, you know. Right. So uh, it's... Uh, I didn't even see those strings on the bottom. Oh, yeah, bit. there's... Uh, there's uh, there's some super trebles here on, How on is this that instrument. Tuned? That's tuned to uh, what scale? Well, they're not quite tuned yet, but <laughs> I, I have the I have them tuned sort of to a harmonic minor in this section. And it's then, tuned uh, to, I think it's tuned to a dream here. sequence, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I can I can tune it to tune it to something. Right. Uh, yeah, if I went in, I would probably. Tune this down. Okay. Yeah. So. Right. So you must. Do you know? Do you know, do you know Phil Degree? Uh, no, I don't. Phil has a 17-string guitar. It doesn't have the bass strings on top. Seven mm -hmm. guitar strings and nine little strings on the guitar. Ah. And he calls it a guitar. Well, uh, I have something similar. I have the little extension that you could just strap onto any guitar and add the super mm -hmm. trebles. Okay. And Luke Bruner in Switzerland builds those. He's calling them Muriel trebles now because okay. uh, I was the one who asked for them. Cool. But he's a brilliant builder. Uh, Luke okay. Bruner, Bruner Guitars. Okay. Yeah. B-R-U-H-N-E-R. B-R-U-N-N-E-R. Uh, N-N, -N -E -N -N, okay. N-N-E-R, yeah. Okay. I've got it linked on my on my website, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's cool. It's, I'd love to hear him play because I, I want some more ideas on what to do with the with the super troubles when I don't have a harp guitar to go with mm -hmm. them. You know, so 
Check out Phil DeGree. It's D-E-G-R-U-Y. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. Make a and he's note. like, he's actually been written up as the Victor Borger of guitar. Oh. Because oh. he plays well, some silly wonderful. stuff. that's <laughs> wonderful. But he plays great and, and there's a lot of humor in it, yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. He's, he's fantastic. Yeah. Well, let's cool. uh, play another tune together. Maybe we'll get to a Christmas tune if we have any any requests there. I just finished a class uh, on Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas at a, a wonderful class uh, there on String Masters and just posted uh, the, the first lesson of that on my True Fire page uh, just moments ago, actually. And the link is on the my regular links page, murielanderson.com slash now. So if you want to okay. learn the first part, it's it's already up there free. It's not written for the stick, though, right? Uh, not written for the stick, no. I don't think anything is, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> King Except Crimson, what, actually. Yeah, oh. Well, actually, the song we played was before, because Tony Levin was in King Crimson, uh, oh. sec, second incarnation. First bass player was actually uh, Greg Lake from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Ah, and then Tony came in about mid '80s, and uh, songs like "Elephant Talk," ah. uh, very, very stick heavy. Yes. yes. Well, well, why don't we try another one together, and, uh, and then I'll I might play one here if I'm coaxed into it. Okay, so we're gonna do. Uh... Oh, nice! That's a good one. low string is just as low as my low string there yeah that's that's your open string though right yeah that's my fourth fret I got I can go down here wow okay you win the you win the 
award. I think I think st stick. How is low ahead. can you go? Yes. <laughs> stick is ahead by two points now. Four frets. In this yes, yeah, so, yes. Cool. Yes, that's right. And I think uh, I owe you an A section. I think I only played three A sections when I was supposed to play four. Okay. So all put, right. So, all right. Put that so, on my bill. Okay. Well, uh, one a, charge you for we see, one A section. Next time I see the NAMM show, I'm just going to give you an A section. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good. Great. Uh, well, uh, let's see. We, I think we met. Was, was it backstage at the Les Paul show? Where we no, met? I was home, You're and you home? called me. I think we had done the uh, All Star Guitar Night in Indianapolis. Ah, Indianapolis, that one. Yeah. So that's how we kind of got together. I had, been, I've had to ask you a couple of times to do it, and there was no room. And, and then you called me first. You said. You're going to be at the Indianapolis show, right? And I go, no, but I guess I'll buy a plane ticket. <laughs> and I came and I did a solo thing, and I think uh, Seymour Duncan was on it, and uh, uh, the blind country guy, what's his name? Um, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, whose uh, name is on the tip of my brain. Uh, let's see. I th Ravi was part of it. Remember Ravi? Yes. The uh, speaker? Mm -hmm. And I remember we did the song Imagine. Um, right. Anyway, I can't. I can't remember. But then we kept in touch, and you called me at home, and you said, "I'm going down to the Iridium in New York. There goes see Les Paul. You should come. I'll introduce it to Les. Maybe you'll play." And lo and behold, I went down, and I found myself on stage. Oh yeah. And uh, he made fun of my instrument, of course, because Les is vaudeville. <laughs> yeah. He, called he it made fun, fun of mine too. Everything. He called yeah. this an ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> he told me I should get a I should go get a real guitar, like a Les Paul. <laughs> like a Les Paul, right? <laughs> yeah. Not one of these. He made fun of everybody. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I was on stage once there with, with uh, Tommy Emanuel also. And Les said to Tommy about my playing, he says, How does he do that? And Tommy said, Why does he do that? <laughs> <laughs> But that was a lot of fun, so I appreciate you inviting me to see Les uh, and play with him. Uh, yeah. So two things, I, I, I think we played Sleepwalk, no, you know what we played? We played this. Uh. Minor oh, swing. Oh, yeah, right. Within swing. 20 seconds, he leaned over, he said, you can come back anytime you want. So oh, great. That was nice. Because he didn't know what I was going to do, maybe play some space music or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was very cool. So thank you for the invite. And uh, oh, like welcome. I said, I went down about 10 times and played with him. Oh, uh, great, great. great. Well, what a wonderful experience and, and just yeah. what uh, an amazing person in so many ways Les was. Yeah. yeah. Well, Multifaceted. Backstage was, backstage was a treat. We'd be sitting there in the green room mm -hmm. and he'd be talking about hanging out with Wes Montgomery and Django Reinhardt. And, you know, it's like talking to a historian. He, he was there. Yeah. So it was fabulous. Yeah, yeah I was in the front was uh, playing on stage once, uh, right mm -hmm. next to Les, and, and Les leans over and he sees Steve Miller in the front row, sit, sitting there watching, mm -hmm. and he says, Steve, <clears throat> if, I, if I'd known you were here, I wouldn't have had her up here and play. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's, that was Les, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And for those who don't know, Les had a, re that, that was at the Iridium, right? Or, or Iridium, before that? Iridium, yeah. So I guess later on in life he wasn't playing as well because he had arthritis and he invited people down. So Steve played, Jeff Beck played, uh, there was Tony Bennett. Uh, one wow. night I was there, Jackie the Joke Man, who was a very uh, dirty comedian, was there too. He was emceeing and it was, it was kind of funny because a lot of tourists were in the audience. People from oh. Nebraska and Kansas and he went nuts and the people loved it. <laughs> oh. But yeah, Les had guests every single week, you know. Major Aww. people, George Benson to play there, I believe, and uh, yeah, it was great. Yes. Well, we have a bunch of happy holidays popping in here from uh, Long Island, uh, Lee oh. there, and happy winter solstice, which is happening. Who's the uh, Long Island person? Maybe I know. Uh, that's, uh, that's Leland Bailey there in Long Island. Yes, so uh, we are both Long Island at times, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, well, you're now Arizona, it. mostly. Yeah. In Arizona, no, almost all the time, but that's another event. We, uh, I used to produce the Long Beach Jazz Festival. And I do believe you played it at least twice, maybe three times. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. 
Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was uh, the felt like a, an imposter jazz player, because you know. No, no. Because <laughs> I mostly jazz do other means, things. Jazz means creative. <laughs> That's all it means. Ah, great. Doesn't all mean right. it ha- doesn't have to go boom. It's not you know it doesn't have to. Okay. Benjamin is saying that we can use more cowbell in what we are doing. I said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do one with it. It could use some cowbell. Uh, all right, Steve, you can play cowbell. Uh, anyone who has a cowbell there, uh, go ahead and play. Uh, actually, I've never done it on this guitar. This is be a, a first. Um, we'll see if it works. I don't even know if it's going to work. Um, um, let's see. Uh, how about this? Just for that last note. <laughs> all right. There we Bravo. go. Excellent. Yeah. Very nice. Very okay. Nice. Well, thank you for all, all the, uh, the holiday greetings. Yes, Christmas is going to happen uh, between uh, the time that we have, have our next <clears throat> Monday Live, which will be the third day of Christmas party. Mm-hmm. So, happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. That's a new word that uh, somebody just uh, passed on. Isn't that a lovely word? It's a great happy, word. Happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Yes. Um, cool. And uh, we have some more hellos here, just just to say. Um, uh, Hans is here. Uh, okay, and Light Sights. Uh, oh, uh, so, so say from Christy Lene. Uh, oh, but she suffered a heat stroke. Gee. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, uh, it's under, it's, uh, I'm not clear if she suffered the heat stroke or Chrissy Linnea. I hope everyone's okay, though. Yeah, but it's it's kind of strange uh, weather. Uh, just the day before yesterday, it was springtime. I was outside with, uh, you know, just a t-shirt on here in mm-hmm. Nashville. And then last just night, there was, yeah, there was just, I mean, in pants. <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah, okay. want to clarify. Yeah, all right, yeah. Okay. For those of you running around Nashville. All right. Um, and then last night there was frost. It was 26 degrees. Wow. Yeah. Frost on the car. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. went out to visit uh, Ariana Cap, great bass player. Yep. Okay. Uh, we've uh, played with. So, yeah, just incredible quick change. 
uh, of, yeah. uh, of temperature. So Well, here we are in Phoenix. It was 39 degrees this morning. In Phoenix? Yeah. I thought Phoenix is supposed to be warm. In the summer, yeah, 115 every day. But <clears throat> today it was 39 in the morning. Okay. It goes up to about 60, but it's chilly. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, light site is is clarifying. No, she's uh, light site suffered the heat stroke, not Christy. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, so uh, we've had Christy Lene here before. She's we'll have her again. She's she's just great and uh, just a beam so of light. She is. Do you have regular uh, viewers here? Yeah, okay. yeah. We we've, we've got some regular folks here. Uh, Bunny is here every every week, uh, and uh, Marlene and Tom, mm -hmm. Gail. So yeah, it's great to great to see y'all. Well, um, maybe uh, maybe it's time for you to do another solo, Steve. I just did did, did a spontaneous one here. <laughs> I'll do an, a a bridge version of something I play. Okay. Is the sound it's not rattling anymore? Uh, I think I think it's I think it's okay. It's, it's loud but not rattling. I'm not hearing you. How hey. on earth did you do that? Yes. That's what Les Paul said. <laughs> <laughs> right. The tricky part is having this stupid wire in between, like oh, yeah. juggling right. around yeah. the wire. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's cool. 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 Yeah. It's actually a shortened version of a longer piece that I during the COVID. You know, there's no no gigs and stuff, so I. I actually spent two years exploring the instrument rather than learning songs. Yeah. Songs are cool, but there's so much to explore on here. Hmm. So, you know, different voicings and different techniques and stuff. So it's, it was pretty, it was actually a, 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 a positive time learning wow. the instrument. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, just 
that sparkly bell like you know sound that you get on that yeah very mm -hmm. cool yeah. cool stuff thanks I'm the only thing I can think of to follow that maybe you could play something with I'm in D I'm on a regular instrument here I don't know what we can do with it with the lag that we have I mean we have fun here I don't know how it's how it sounds <laughs> to everyone else with the with the lag that always happens right. um, so you just have to in your mind put the notes together where they should be right right Snoopy It's worth it for the last note. Always, <laughs> always. Very nice. So you're an inspiration. Yeah. I hope I can yeah. play like you sometime. <laughs> oh, likewise. Why? Okay. Uh, that instrument just, uh, I mean, that just means a, a lot of time to, to get used to your instrument, to figure out how to, how to do all that. Well, the hard part is there's no, there's no history. Yeah. So you have guitar, you can follow Segovia or West Montgomery or whoever, but this is like, here you go, figure it out. Yeah, well, harp guitar is similar in that uh, there's mm -hmm. very little written down history, except sure. for some of the very yeah. early uh, virtuoso guitar tunes in Europe. Mm -hmm. They had written some of that for harp guitar, but very very little else right. is, is written there. Yeah, Michael so, Hedges obviously brought it, brought it to the front quite a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he did. Right. Well, cool. we want to just uh, maybe finish off with a, a couple of tunes and remind everyone to tune in next Monday for the third day of Christmas party. Leave one Chris one gift, if you can, to open or, or reopen. <laughs> As might be my case, is sometimes I'm just too curious, you know. Can't wait for those extra so I, days. In the song, I'm, trying, I'm forgetting now because I'm getting old. What is the third day of Christmas? What do they bring? Third day of Christmas. First day of Christmas. Uh, three French hens. Okay, three, three French three hens. Three French hens. Okay, so. Um, really? Okay. Yes. So, and at Christmas, uh, we're, what we're going to do is get together with the family, uh, at least three generations, add kids and dogs and kerosene lanterns and walk around the neighborhood and Christmas carol. Nice. You know, just a uh, just acapella, except for some sleigh bells and percussion instruments. Okay. And so that's what I've done every year since I was born, except wow. last year I think we didn't get together. That that was the only year. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, there was a uh, somebody had asked about the have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh, We'll be doing that next next week, but I'll play just a little bit of it now. So this is the one that uh, we just taught for my class, and you can uh, and just we just now posted the music on my website, so you can print out the sheet music, and there's okay. a little tutorial on the True Fire channel as well. Um, but nice little arrangement. My my realtor in Nashville actually taught this to me. <laughs> okay, well that's that's Nashville, you know. So Dave Langood uh, showed this to me. Uh, let's see, it starts up something like this.
Nossa! last notes yeah and the good thing if you forgot a part you can always go to true fire and check out the chart right all right yeah the website <laughs> <laughs> i have to go i have to go check out my own music so i can remember it each year at least it's there yeah, cool it's, right and your real your realtor showed you that uh yes yeah david langwood who sold me my uh house in nashville yep okay but uh, he's a good guitar player great yep well yeah he used to work at the corner music store uh, okay. And so, uh, but it's Nashville, you know, you, your gas station attendant is probably a better guitar player than you are. Uh, you there know? was a famous song about that, right? Do you remember? Yes. <laughs> Nashville Cats, right? Right. John Sebastian. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, hey, Toby, we just got some more Hayes, uh, and, uh, and thank you all for, for tuning in. Uh, do you want to play one together to, to finish off? What do you think? Uh, I could do that. Uh... Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll do it on harp guitars just so we finish off with. Okay. Just to finish off with a whole bunch of strings. to explain that I never saw that those are levers that make it go down yes yeah that way I can change the key and play it how much can songs. you change it uh, just a half, half step? step half step, half step. Oh. so it's like what uh, Michael Manning has on his bass I don't know if oh, you know Michael I, yeah I know him but I haven't seen what he's got on his bass yeah but I know some people have that on the low sub you know the, okay. the extra extra basses yeah but these are, are called dragon whisperers. They they use them on folk harps. And okay. I asked uh, Mike Doolin, who built this guitar, if he could make these mm -hmm. make some make some way to change it a half step, so I could play in different keys. And he came up. Do with you this do idea. it while, while you're playing? Uh, yeah, I do it sometimes while I'm playing. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's a reverse capo. Good. <laughs> right. Uh, let's just do a little jam on uh, this little t tune called Midnight Solo in uh, E minor. You'll figure it out, I think. Or, sorry, it's an E minor for me, but it's an F, F sharp, sharp minor for, me, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to make life exciting First, for you. <laughs> I have a capo on my brain. <laughs>
Oh, beautiful, Steve Adelson. So thank Thanks. you so much for joining me. And I have it. a wonderful Christmas, everyone. Um, Thanks for having me. I appreciate the uh, invite. It's been a lot right. of fun. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Ciao.